everyone and welcome back to another screencast. This is on algebra. It's on algebraic notation and it is possibly the easiest screencast I have ever done. Maybe not, but it isn't that hard. I'm sure you'll agree by the end of this probably three, four minute uh, screencast. So what is algebraic notation? The most obvious feature of algebra is the use of special notation symbols called variables are used to represent numbers. Okay, so algebra, lots of kids that I teach go, oh my, I can't do algebra. Well, when we think about it and what it is, is that letters are there to represent numbers that we haven't quite worked out yet, or we don't know yet, or that change, hence the word variables, then it becomes pretty easy. So that's what we're going to do today, a little bit of algebraic notation and a little bit of substitution as well. And I'm sure you'll find it very, very easy. So here goes some examples. Let's split my screen up so I've got a few of these. All this means is a number that we don't know plus 6. A number we don't know minus 2. A number that we don't know timesing by 6. Okay, so 6x could be rewritten as 6 timesing by x. So a number we don't know timesing by 6. All right, next up, we have a number we don't know divided by 3. A number that we don't know squared. A number that we don't know <laughs> cubed. Okay, now that means that it's x times x. This one means x times x times x. I'm sorry if my all my x's and times all look the same, but that's what it means, okay? Very, very simple, I'm sure. So now what we're going to do is we're going to say that for all of these questions on this slide, x equals 3, what is our answer? Okay, so if x equals 3, what would we do? We would just say, okay, we'd take away the x and we'd put in 3 plus 6 equals 9. 3 minus 2 equals 1. So 6 times and by x would be written as 6 times and by 3. 6 times 3 is 18. There we go. All right, so why don't you have a little go of these ones now? All right, a little bit tougher than the ones I've just done. You shouldn't need your calculator, but if you absolutely did, then uh, you could go grab it. But please try not to use it unless you absolutely have to. Uh, pause the video, give it a go, and see if you are right. Okay, so the first one would be 6 divided by 3. Okay, so we can rewrite that underneath, can't we? 6 divided by 3, and we should know the answer is 2. Okay. Now the next one is 6 times by 6. Okay, and hopefully we know how to do that. Okay, so we've got 6 times by 6, and that equals 36. And the last one would be 6 times by 6 times by 6. So you have 6 times 6, which is 36. And then we have 36 times 6. And this is where you might need your calculator, but the answer is 216. I don't think you would need your calculator. You could have done either the lattice method. If you don't know what the lattice method is, go and watch that video that I've done. Or just do long multiplication or just simple multiplication. Okay. So there we go. Hopefully you are in the right zone for the quiz. So... This time, x equals 2. So take away the x, put in 2. Away you go. Bob's your uncle. Trevor's your aunt. Uh, pause the video now. Give it a go and see if you've got it right. Okay, here we go. Did I promise this was going to be a short screencast? If I didn't, it is a very short screencast, which you'll all be glad to know. Here goes your answers. So for the first one, we took away x. We put in 2. So 2 plus 10 equals 12. For the next one, we took away x, we put in 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. We took away x, we put in 2. 12 times 2 is 24. Took away the x, put in the 2. So we got 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. And that is it. That's how you have it. Write a screen, <laughs> write a screencast. Uh, write a revision card on this area if you so choose. It's the smartest thing you can do today. Remember, do a great job, and then in three months' time, you'll go, I'm really glad I did a great job. It's called doing something today that your future self is going to thank you for. Anyway, until next time, as always, it's been a pleasure helping you with your maths. Goodbye.